Welcome back to Landscaping. We'll be heading over to the shop this morning in the 2017 Chevy 2500. Today we will be doing some upgrades and we'll be organizing the shop. It's just over 84 degrees this morning and should be sunny all day long. We've had a very busy landscaping season so far and have done quite a few upgrades buying some new equipment. Today we will be getting a new skid seer but we'll be spending the majority of the day organizing the shop. We've had equipment come and go every single day, 4 or 5 mowers being moved around on a daily basis and I really just want to spend the day organizing the shop. Now, over the last few days, we did have a few equipment breakdowns. Our right stander was out mowing and hit a pretty big rock and damaged the entire spindle on one of the um, mower blades. So it's uh, currently in the shop and we should be able to pick it up later today. I'm definitely excited to be back here with the landscaping series. I'm trying to feature two videos a week here and so far I've been doing a pretty good job. Uh, we uh, went mowing earlier this week. Now hopefully I could do some multiplayer soon with this series. I think that would be quite a lot of fun. So I think the first thing we'll do is go pick up the new skid seer. So we are buying a Bobcat S70. I'm very excited for it. Yes, it's a very small skid seer but it's perfect for uh, some upcoming jobs. I really wanted a smaller skid seer to get into the small backyard and those uh, fence uh, gates that the bigger skid steers couldn't fit in. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. Uh, my day has been awesome. It's getting warm out in it. That's awesome. But now it's time uh, to put the AC on when you're in the house. So I think we'll just take the 18-foot uh, bumper pole. Now here at the shop there have been a few uh, things that I really want to get moved around as well and we'll actually use that new attachment on the buckets uh, to reorganize these trailers which I think would be awesome. Now let's see, I want this to be all the way up, perfect, and let's get backed up to it. I've really been enjoying this landscaping series and I've gotten a ton of uh, requests over the last few days uh, to actually do this organizing video so I thought why don't we do it this week and then do a few jobs next week as well and perfect we got attached and I think that's all we need to do awesome. Now this uh, S70 I think was just around $30,000, $35,000 brand new and that was a bit of money but I think it's well worth it. And while we are out and about on the uh, way back, uh, once we get it dropped off, I do want to pick up that right sander. I just got a text saying it's ready to go. And to fix that right, it looks to be just over uh, $322. That's a pretty good amount. And it's just something that we didn't have the part in. They had it, and they only charge a few hours of labor. My new microphone should be here next week, which is awesome. It has been on back order, like I have been talking about, but I can't wait uh, to get it. And we have arrived here. Take a look at the brand new skids here. Now, it is small. I decided not to buy a bucket. We do have a few buckets at the shop, and if we do need a small one, we can rent it. But here we go, guys, the S70. It's a bit small. Look at that. We do have the Bobcat uh, wheels on it with the Bobcat back end, so I made it as close as I could uh, to a S70. Let's hop here on the inside, get it turned on, and I believe that this is, I would say, a 2530 diesel horsepower motor, so it's a pretty small one, but it's good enough for what uh, I plan to do with it. Perfect, so we'll get loaded up here. Really want to get uh, all the equipment to have working straps on it as well. I think that would be such a cool feature, and I think right there seems to be good. Perfect. Now we do have a lot of cool videos coming up here with the landscaping series. I definitely want to do some multiplayer, but uh, we do have a lot of jobs coming up. So many that we're just booked uh, for months on end. Now the landscaping series is very popular here on the channel, which is awesome. This is one of my top series that I really do enjoy doing, along with uh, the homeowner series. But we will be doing a lot more of the landscape uh, store, the, that landscape dealership. Uh, we will be back with that probably uh, early next week as well, which should be nice. And we'll do Heavy Rescue next week. So lots of cool things coming. And tomorrow we are building that ranch for the homeowner series. So I think what we will do is just to kind of get pulled in here and we don't really want to leave it outside but we won't be too long. 
Now before we actually bring these inside, I do want to kind of get everything else organized because there's quite a few things I really want to move around. Let's get this backed off here and I think we'll just leave it here for now. Perfect. Now the right should be able to at least climb up the ramps. More than likely we'll back it on and I don't think we'll have a problem there. This Ram 2500 is pretty cool, but I am looking for a regular cab uh, Chevy uh, Duramax. Hopefully we can get one of those here in Farm Sim. That would be awesome, definitely, uh, to, to kind of complete it. And we'll be trading the 04 uh, for our next work truck. I really do enjoy doing these upgrade videos, even though I do them quite often. Uh, we definitely do need to get some new equipment, otherwise we'll be using the same uh, skid steer for months on end, and uh, for making YouTube videos, that is al isn't always the best thing. Now over the weekend, I will more than likely be updating to the brand new save game, the brand new map, so that should be awesome, uh, the latest version where I have a ton more hours put on it. And this map here is a work in progress. A lot, a lot of things still have to be done to it. I would say it's almost uh, a quarter at most done. At most, 25% of the map is complete. Yes, that's not a lot. Map building is a lot of time and uh, t takes a lot of effort uh, to complete it. Perfect, we got that loaded on there. I just paid the bill electronically. Uh, they do also have a company credit card on file. So there we go, let's head on back. So I think the first thing we will do is to kind of work on the bigger machines, get those organized, and then we'll end it with the trucks. Now I do want to keep the F750 and this uh, 2020 inside. I just kind of want to keep these out of the weather. That's not a good thing, yeah, but the 04 will uh, just keep outside. I don't really see a need uh, since that's uh, almost 20 years old. So we'll just kind of pull in like this. Really no need uh, to do anything uh, special parking-wise, and we'll just leave this here like this. Perfect. So let's first get going here. I really want to move this Batwing mower. We've hit it quite a few times, actually. Almost put a few dents in a few of our things. So let's, let's see if we get uh, that Kubota out. But we do have to open up this door. And let's move the O4 out as well. That would give us a little bit more room here. Definitely needs some much needed organization here. A lot, a lot is needed. Although I really do like this truck, it might be time for us to get that new uh, Duramax once I find one. little bit of a tight squeeze here but we'll just put it here for now and I think uh, we should be good to go to leave it there perfect let's get that door opened up and I do want to do a few different things as well and I actually do have a pretty cool idea for a parking spot uh, for that excavator so there we go let's move the walker out away and let's get to Kubota I really do enjoy doing videos like this as well. These are kind of uh, my favorite types of videos, just organizing the shop, spending time, and uh, really t just making sure our shop is the best it can be. Perfect, so let's see. I really want to see. This will be probably a little tricky to get to it because of how it is, but I don't think we'll have a problem. And we did actually run into a collision there. So this bucket, I probably will need uh, to get ourselves a new bucket. Now, if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day some sneak peeks and just some cool videos over there as well, which is a lot of fun uh, to record. And this doesn't seem to want to attach just yet. Let's see. And there we go. There took a try or two, but uh, we got it. And by accident, we hopped there in the uh, Bobcat. Now, if you guys are new here to the channel, I do ask that you please subscribe. We are growing and growing faster and faster, and I'm very excited for what's to come. Now, we do have a little bit of room back here, really just trying to use every inch of our shop uh, to store equipment, and this thing should be fine out here anyway. So we'll just put it in between the dump trailer there and the uh, Fisher Plows. Maybe next plowing season, we might consider maybe getting a few boss straight blades, but other than that, I really don't uh, see myself getting uh, any new plows. And we'll get that dropped. Let's see. Perfect. It looks like my control panel does not want to work there for that, which is okay. But let's get the backhoe moved and let's kind of get these uh, situated. Perfect. Let's hop there in the backhoe. And we should be able to do it, though, even though we do have a few things here in the way. 
I just want to get it as close to that wall as we can. We should be able to. Oh, yeah. No problem. The closer we could get to the wall, the easier it will be uh, to fit some more things in here. Now, I do want to put the Kubota and also that mini excavator here. We should be able to, but why don't we... Oh, let's move the uh, cheat out away. We just have so many things, so many uh, pieces of equipment now, they all are all used. You know, uh, someone did uh, leave a comment saying leave some out on job sites. So we'll be doing that as well. Uh, maybe in this video we might do that, but definitely coming up, we'll drop some off at some job sites as close as I can to that wall. That's the best we are about to do. Perfect. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we should be able to uh, get to that by. So let's just move this forward and uh, playing a game of just uh, musical chairs here with uh, equipment today. We'll put this up against the wall there, and the Kubota should fit no problem. Now I'm very excited for my new microphone, definitely a big, big upgrade here for the channel, getting that one, and I'm very excited for it, should be awesome, definitely uh, a pretty big increase in uh, quality there. This will be a little tricky to really get turned around in here since we do have the bucket on the front with, actually we could just raise it up, that would give us a little bit more clearance there. Wow, just look at that, I can't really even get moved around right now, everything's just all over. Now I do want to leave room over there for the Cummins with the mower, so we'll just have to find a space for all those. Oh yeah, this fits a little bit on the tight size, but we are making it work, perfect. We'll put the bucket all the way down, and there we go guys. We were able to play musical chairs here with the machines and get that there. Wow, that looks awesome, just uh, kind of out of the way. So up next, let's put the walker in between the garage doors. Now, so far, the uh, lawn care side of business has been doing really well. Over 70 clients like I've touched upon, and you guys have been seeing it. We've been mowing every single uh, day here, and you guys have also really been enjoying the lawn care videos, which is awesome. I really do enjoy lawn care, the landscaping. These are just a ton of fun to record for me. Let's see if we could get this. Let's see. Let's move the camera view here. Not sure why the camera view was not moving there, but let's get this backed in here. Should be able to fit no problem. A little bit there on the tight side, but so we got that uh, perfect. And where do we put both of these? And I think, oh, I kind of have an idea. But look at that, guys. Our crew actually uh, forgot to put these roll bars up, and that is a big safety thing. So let's put those up. Uh, if these were to roll over, that will catch the uh, operator and save it from uh, getting this landed on top. So we'll just leave this here and back the other one into place. Now once again on this, we do have to put that bar up, perfect, and let's get it turned back on. Let's see, should fit right here, and there it goes, perfect, so we got that there. Why don't we bring in the brand new S70? And we do also have that right to bring in, we can't forget about that as well. We've made some really good progress organizing though, and it so far looks awesome. But this is one cool S70. Uh, it was a little tricky to kind of put together, but I got it, and I really actually like the look of it. I do want to add the uh, logos to it. I think that would be kind of the final touches. But there we go, guys. We got that into place. Let's do the right. Actually, we could put the right right there. Awesome. That way, the crews can get to everything without having to worry that it's being blocked in. We'll put the ram away, and then I actually want to hop in the bobcat and move the trailers around uh, with that new uh, tool that we have. So this right, we'll put it like that, and there we go. So we got everything done there. Uh, let's actually just get this, actually let's fold it up first. Fold those ramps up, otherwise I don't think we'll be able to. So like I have touched upon, if you do know of a Chevy 2500, 3500 regular cab, uh, please let me know, preferably maybe a 2015 and up, because I would definitely buy one of those, add it to this uh, series, and replace that 04. 
And there we go. So we got the RAM in here. Wow, that looks pretty nice inside. And let's get that attachment. There's a few trailers I really do want to get organized. Actually, we could use the S70, but I think that might be just a little too small for it. So let's get this dumped. It's actually here in this bucket. Slide out of the bucket. There we go. Awesome. And we'll just kind of get this backed up again. So we got that put away there. Let's hop in the S70. I really want to use the wheels on the uh, pavement, on the gravel. That way we just don't uh, tear up our tracks. Now attaching sometimes is a little tricky, but let's see. And there we go. So we got it, which is great. And let's come around here and get going on moving these trailers. So you guys can see it's just a penny hill hitch, which is adjustable as well, which is a good thing. Let's bring it over. Right there seems to be good. We'll get it attached here. Now moving this around is a little bit trickier. Uh, it's actually the opposite, so we'll just have to kind of move it around. Actually, let's do some first person view. It's kind of hard to get used to this thing here, but I, I kind of like it a lot. And wow, definitely uh, really do like the maneuverability you get here. And right there seems to be good. Wow, that worked pretty good for our first try. Let's get this disconnected. Now I'm not sure exactly how. Let's see, and there we go there. So it takes a try or two to get it. But once we get it, it seems to be working pretty well. Let's get this one. We'll raise it up just a little bit more because this is a little bit bigger. And we'll get it attached. I really, really like the jack animation here on it. That's a great, great thing. Trying to do some first person action here. It's just such a tricky thing to do. And you guys can see, wow, that isn't too bad there. Was able to get them moved, which is great. And let's put the jack in. And that seems to be good. So let's get this good steer parked up and get the doors closed. Today was a busy day there. We picked the ride up from getting it repaired. We got the new S70 and it got the shop organized. Quite a few things done. And we'll be back to doing some jobs uh, coming up soon. So many jobs. And we actually have some coming up with decorative stone as well, which is also a lot of work but definitely going to be awesome but hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was a lot of work here reorganizing the entire shop we made a lot more space and a lot more room thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more